I'm going to be showing you how to protrude an SVG logo, make it look kind of cool in 3D, and then from there bring it into this nice presentation, trippy kind of effect. So without ado, let's just dive right in and this should be short and sweet. So. All right, so per usual, let's just go over the basics that I like to, I like to call them the basics because in most of these tutorials I've been doing, uh, you'll be doing this. So let's delete all of our default items. Let's run over here to the render settings, turn on ambient inclusion, screen space reflections, boom, boom, boom. Go into your preference, oops, no, let's not do that. Go into your preferences and you're gonna want to make sure that you have animation under default interpolation set as linear. <clears throat> Once you have that, we have everything ready to go. And actually, let's go back. One add-on you're gonna have to add is go over here, deselect that SVG. You just type it import. I think it should be in there, but it should be import export SVG vector graphics. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and add in our SVG. So if you wanted the Nike one, I'll go ahead and uh, slide in a little bit of a link where you can find uh, all the company logos that you possibly probably will want and they'll be in clean SVGs. Okay, now we're gonna do import and you're gonna get a little window here and you're gonna pretty much select where you have that file or SVG saved. I suggest if you're someone that's not too keen on setting up where things are saved, then just drop it into your desktop and just keep pushing. So once your SVG is dropped in, it's probably gonna be super small, like what I'm seeing here. So what you're gonna do is probably zoom out a little bit. S8, if you want, R, oops, rotate X. 90 degrees and then let's just scale it up a little bit more and right about there I think let's let's just add in a camera now to make sure that it's at a decent size we don't want it to be like too crazy small because then you won't get much of your effect all right so Bring our camera up to a reasonable position. Just drag it up. Oops. Cheesy. Pull it up a little bit. Take our Nike logo. Just move it a little bit right here. One thing most of us will probably have to deal with is your origin point is gonna be in this weird location. So when you're grabbing it, it's like, and if you start rotating things, it's like, what the fuck? That's not gonna look cool. What I suggest you do here is you go over to that left hand bar select cursor which is the uh 3d cursor i believe it's called move it to somewhere i don't want to like set your view to the front move it to somewhere in the middle of the logo then click object set origin set origin to 3d cursor then from there now when you rotate things you get it on a nicer axis so let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit. Make this a little bit more big. Let's just like, to help us out, let's go into our camera settings. Let's just access our composition guides so we can kind of see what's going on. And now we're gonna do some fun stuff. So you're like, oh, this logo's flat. I want it to be three dimensional. Head over to your curved tab and then access geometry, then you can start sliding this extrude. And you could slide this to however you feel. If you hold shift, you can get a nicer granular kind of movement. I like it to be around this big for the Nike logo. It really depends on the logo that you're working with. Now, the second step here um, that we're gonna dive into now is materials. And we may have to move around things a little bit, but let's just get a material set up here. So let's just do a quick material preview. I'm gonna bring in some lights. Let's drag that all the way up. I'm gonna do a bit of a three-point light setup. So 
We have one on top. And move that. Press uh, Shift D to duplicate. Move that. I right, rotate. Let's rotate it on the Y axis. Move right about there. Shift D once again. Then we're gonna press R to rotate. Press Y to keep it on the Y axis. And then you really can't see much actually. Um, let's make sure that our environment is just completely dark. Wait, we're actually looking at the wrong look, the wrong one. All right, let's pump up our lights a little bit. Oh, you know what it is. The one last thing we haven't done. Let's go into. Well, I'm not gonna call it the last thing. Let's turn off, uh, unlink that SVG material. Let's go ahead and create a new material for our Nike logo. I'll call it Nike logo. Now, let's go ahead and turn up subsurfacing, which I love. Let's make sure. It looks like we have something going on. And let's make this. Play around with the color. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make this light a lot brighter. 500. These lights probably can get a little bit closer, actually. Let's bring it a tad bit closer. Let's duplicate it one more. We're going to do a crazy four point light setup. Sometimes I find myself just like kind of messing around. Um, and if we rotate it, oh wow, we get this nice kind of like gummy clay kind of view, which is nice. Uh, da -na 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 -na. Now, let's just go ahead and play with some of these. Stuff in this again. It's looking pretty nice, actually. It's looking a lot better the first time I did this. <laughs> so we get this nice material. So. If you're interested in, in this gummy kind of material, you could just kind of roll on from here and mess with the animation or um, export. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to animate it. So we're going to do a trusty dusty timeline down here. Click N, single keyframe on Z, move it to the last one, 360, insert that. Now when you click it, and we're looking at the camera. You can see we have nice little subtle animation, which will get us rolling to start. Now, what I did, we're gonna dive into the final parts. This is the compositing, making it look kind of nice. Um, so let's just start cleaning this thing up. What we can do with the subsurface refractions is increase them by a bit. Let's just do that multiple 16, whatever. And you can see it's looking pretty nice. Now, what I did was I created a nice little plane. Let's make it that big. Who's gonna get me? These pixels are free. That's one thing I once heard. Um, press E to extrude when you're in the object mode. So if, if you lost me right there, you press tab, and then you're gonna see your little like selections. Select the edge select, then you're gonna select the edge of that object. If you lost me. I am moving a little bit faster than my usual speed here. All right, so we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and create a material for this thing. Make it very metallic. Right about there. I want a little bit of a reflection. Hmm. 
I'm gonna increase the light, the front, the front to light. All right. For now, it's okay. There's not much of like a bloom. If you guys wanted to add a bit of like a uh, emission, you could just kind of do this. Add emission. And tone down the strength a little bit. Mm, part of me wants to suggest it, but I kind of don't. So I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> and I'm just gonna roll with this for now. So let's go into compositing. Click use nodes. Here's the fun part. Here's where you're gonna get the trippy effect. Do a viewer, reroute. See, I just discovered this last night actually. It was a bit of a happy accident to say the least. Shift A, lens distortion, bring that in. And then I believe you get a mix node. Bring this one to the bottom. Actually, let's I want I want you to see the process first before I start like tampering with everything. So render the image just so we can see a still shot. You can kind of see at this point we have a bit more of like this uh trippy kind of effect. You take the lens distortion, you add a mix node, move it to the, move it to the bottom, put value. Mm, interesting. There you go. Value, move to the top. And you have a bit of like this like trippier kind of effect. I'm just trying to make sure it's not One thing you want to do, so I got mine to be a little bit more like colorful. What you can do is, if you play, I believe if you play with the light colors here, all right, let's make that green. Let me go back over to the compositing. Let's just test it again. Yeah, there you go. And you can kind of see some parts kind of just glitch out, which is a nice little effect, but I believe they come back. So if we click it again, you can see it's there. Now I'm going to go let this render and then we'll look at the, the final, the final little thing. And for those just coming in that, uh, haven't seen me go over the render settings, you go over to this little printer kind of object, go down to output. You're going to switch it to FFmpeg video switches to MP4. I like to personally put it on high quality. It depends on you. You select where the file is going to go. Like I said, if you're going to get lost, just drop it into desktop and you'll be Gucci from there. And then we go ahead and click to finish. Do render region, blah, blah, blah. Click render animation and you will get it started. I'll see you in a few. And you can see here we have the finished piece. Essentially, it's just like trippy kind of effect, and you can put it with any logo uh, that you want. Let me know if you run into any issues with certain SVGs. I believe like it has to be fairly, fairly clean, and there might be some cleaning up to do sometimes. But here we are, and uh, thank you once again for dropping by and watching the tutorial of mine. I really appreciate it. If you want to say hi and say anything extra, feel free to drop in the Discord. I'm like kind of always in there. So yeah, uh, take care.